hi guys welcome to my youtube channel echo station so in this video i am going to discuss about how to know whether your urolab ciliate is male and female so urolab ciliates are dimorphic which means that males and females have a clear and distinct characteristic however this isn't the case for all membuna ciliate when when this aren't so clear out you will have to look for the sign the main distinguishable characteristics between the male and female urolab ciliates are their color size fin se behavior export and vending spot we will take a closer look at this one by one so number one is coloration coloring is often the easiest way to distinguish between a male and a female urolap ciliate so males and female fish often display different color as they approach sexual maturity the urolap is one of the less dimorphic species both males and females have bright electric yellow bodies adult male however shorter deeper more intense color while females tends to be lighter male fish also have black anal and ventral fin so the number 2 is body size it is one of the another way of distinguishing between male and a female fish the method can help you sex fish that won't otherwise so obvious sexual dimorphism such as through colors Typically a uh, male embuna will be noticeably larger than a female the size difference can be up to 1 inch male fish will be longer and sometimes more slender looking female fish might appear shorter in some species female generally have a larger rounder belly than contribute to this different visual appearance however it's worth noticing that there are some disadvantages when relying on their body size alone step 3 is fin shape as they reach maturity male yellowlap fish develop a different shape in their dorsal and anal fin again this method doesn't help when sexing juvenile fish but it can help you distinguish between male and females that look otherwise similar the males usually have larger fin the outer edge might look edged and the fin's end is long pointy tips if the fin stand out easily the fish is most probably a sexually matured male in comparison to the male female have less prominent fins female urolap fins are shorter and have rounder edges sometimes female dorsal fin might be more square shape in some species both males and females dorsal fin might appear straight and square but males always have an upturned fin corner next is venting spot male genitals are made up of two holes lined vertically across the fish lower body these holes are roughly the same size and they are surrounded by dark pigmentation one hole is the anus while the other hole is where the milt exists the body during reproduction the female genitals are located in the same area but the two holes are in the same size the vent hole is noticeably larger than the other the pigmentation around the female genital is also lighter than that we are in see in males the larger hole is connected to the x tube this is where the e exist in the fish body number 5 is x spot and finally another method to sex your face is by analyzing the x spot x spot are small oval blot of color located on a embuna anal fin the anal fin is located on the ventral side closest to the tail in most species only males have this x spot they are are used to attract female and they give male fish higher chance of fertilizing female eggs this spot can be tiny and substantially colored sometimes cream or greenish in some species the egg spot are large and brightly colored usually bright yellow or deep orange although less common female yellow lab also have egg spot this can make things more difficult when sexing the fish but usually female fish only have one egg spot so this are all information regarding how to differentiate between a male and a female yellow lab ciliates i hope this video will help you more videos are coming soon so please stay tuned to my channel